And today the topic I'm going to talk to you is called Powerful Prayer to Destroy the Spirit of Generational Rejection. The Spirit of Generational Rejection. Rejection Spirit. Rejection Spirit is a very bad stab for each and every one that you, 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 do not need, uh, you do not need in your life. The Spirit of Rejection, it is the Spirit that rejects you anything you do when you are being affected by generational uh, uh, rejection you you everywhere you go anything you do you are rejected no love first of all you are hated everybody hates you everybody hates you that is a, the, the spirit of rejection you can go you 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 can go to school you do your best Everywhere from school you are being rejected. You are, people hate you from no, from nothing. You have not done anything. You try to be good to people. You try to be kind. But because of that spirit of rejection in your blood, in your system, it makes you to reject you. It, it, it chases away good people. You can have friends today. You have good, good friends. Few months they reject you, they go away. And you don't talk to them. You don't do anything. They just run away. They don't want to talk to you. You have a boyfriend, husband. Somebody comes to your life seriously. They want to marry you. You want to marry them. Uh, they, uh, you, you want to marry the person. The person wants to marry you. After serious relationship, and then suddenly the relationship ends like that. So you, it, left, it, leaves, it leaves you wondering, heart feel bad so hard that's when many people they commit even suicide you have been married you thief married a young couple you need to be happy and enjoy your marriage suddenly one partner your husband or your wife start hating you so much so you don't know what you have done to the person and then it end up like that so this is generational rejection it is oh, it is from for our forefathers you, you, you feel like you reject yourself. You tell yourself, I know people, they don't love me. So you don't love yourself. You reject yourself. You feel bad yourself. You have no friend. Even if you try to go to your friend, they run away from you. Even if you, you, you try everything to be good to people, the people, they don't want you. Because there is a spirit of generational rejection that has been blessed, that has been blessed to you. For, for from your father for your forefathers what they did god himself he has said and he is still the same 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 god today and forever he will not accept anybody who rejects him god himself is the one who started with the rejection so when you love god with all your heart with all your soul with all your strength the lord almighty will help you we take a lot of time, feel, us, feel bad about your, ourselves, reject ourselves, we hate ourselves. Yes, it is a problem. Jesus Christ himself, he has paid this so that you can be loved. But now, these things is working right now. Even when Jesus has died 20, 2020 years ago, 20, 2017, we are 2017. We are 17, 2017 years ago. Still, we are under the curses of generational, generational rejection. Generational rejection is not something that you can joke with. That's why you need a very aggressive, powerful prayer to pray that God of heaven to have mercy and destroy this rejection spirit in Jesus' name. Rejection spirit has made many people lose their homes, lose even their children, even their husband, and even jobs because of this rejection. You find people, it, it, useless, useless people, people who are, in, even they didn't go to school, useless, but they are loved, they are living good life, and they are happy. But you, you try with your education, you try, people, they reject you, nobody wants to be close to you. Or if they are close to you, they use you, they use you like a slave. They, they use you so much. They use you, they use you, they, they take everything from you. 
that's when they love you. They love you because of what of, of they love you because they want to use you. They love you because they are they are using you like a tool. That's why they love you. But if you don't if you don't give them what they want, they they will not be with you. They will run away. Or they, they use they they control you. They control you that you cannot even move to anywhere. That is that's that those those are your your friends. Or you get useless friends, people who cannot help you, people are, who, who, are, who wants to strain you, people who are, wants to strain, want to take everything from you. You have nobody who will stand with you. You have nobody to help you. They, 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 this spirit chase away your divine helper. Help people who wants to help you. They run away. They get away. They, they go away from you. So you wonder, what did I do? What, what is this? You feel bad for yourself. You feel so sad. Sometimes you find yourself so sad. Even some, they cry a lot because of this, of the, because of this uh, generational rejection spirit. Now, the good news is that God has given us option. God does not leave us like that. God has told us to choose and, and, and follow the instruction and follow his word. He will help us. The Bible says in the book of Luke, Luke, the book of Luke 22, verse 63, 20, Luke, 20, 20, Luke 22, verse 63 to, to 55. Luke 22, verse 63 to 65. The Bible says, now the men who were holding Jesus in custody were mocking him and beating him. And they bind and bind halted him and were asking, saying, Provost, who is one who hate you? And there were all many other things against him, plus mailing. You know, people, Jesus came to deliver us, and the people decided to reject him. They beat him, they mock him. They were holding him. They were telling him, prophesize, who has punched you? Who has, who has spit on you? They were doing these things because they, they didn't love Jesus. They didn't like Jesus. They didn't love God. They literally mocked Jesus. They did, they beat him and, and binding him and spit on him and, 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 and even mock him, slapping him, slap him, pa! Tell us who has done this. You know, this, this one, it is that's where the problem started. Two, two, 2017, 2017 years ago. This is where, even when God has sent Jesus, the Son of the Living God, to come and deliver us, to take away the curses of re regenerational curses, to take away generational as uh, rejection, what our forefathers did. Still, they were rejecting Jesus. They were mocking Jesus and laughing at him and they curse him and beat him. Now, this spirit, when they rejected the Son of God, what happened? They renewed, they renewed the rejection in their children, children. Now, the, the family of those, of those people, they would never experience happiness. They would be rejected until they know how to pray powerful prayers to cry to God and God will restore back their the, the, the love. Now, you see, the Bible says in the book of Luke 10, verse 16, Luke 10, verse 16, Luke 10, verse 16, the Bible says, the one who hears you, you hears me. And the one who rejects you, rejects me. And the one who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. So now, the people himself, the people, the people of God, they are the one who started this rejection. They rejected Jesus. They don't want to hear Jesus. They don't want to hear what God has sent, what Jesus, what God sent to Jesus. They don't. They they decided that they they have rejected Jesus completely. Now this rejection, when they rejected God, what happened? It backfired. It backfired to their children, children. That's why we need to deal with this. The, the, this rejection, generational rejection, so that we can be free. You are battling a battle you are, you don't know. That your father, your forefather, even your physical father right now, they are the ones who are responsible for your rejection. 
because they didn't love Jesus, they rejected Jesus. So because they rejected Jesus, now God rejects them. Yeah, this is this this, this is wicked. This is so evil and uh, wicked. You know, that's why parents who does not love God, they go through they their children go through a lot of stuff, a lot of a lot of problem affecting them, especially those house those who knows God and they decide to to repair against God. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let's look at another scripture. From Matthew 10, verse 33. Matthew 10, verse 33. The Bible says, But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. So now, this rejection spirit, generational rejection spirit, started from our forefathers, our family, even now yourself. If you reject God, God will also reject you. That's what Jesus said. But whoever de denies me before men, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. So once you deny Jesus, you deny Jesus before men, you are also denied. You are rejected. You will be rejected. The Jesus will reject you. Jesus will reject you big, serious. Because this rejection, it goes with love. People, they don't want to love Jesus. They don't want to accept Jesus. They don't want to obey God. They don't want to do the will of God. Now, because they have decided to do their own way, then the spirit affects them. This, this it works to themselves. The things they are doing, they are not doing for anybody. They are doing to themselves and their children. Children, If people who love God, I know my, grand, my grandmother, she was so wicked and evil, but because I was raised by her, I, I didn't see any badness, anything bad with her. But now, since I discover the deliverance, is when I, I came to realize that, that this was a very serious thing. My, my grandmother, she didn't want to hear anything about God. She was cursing God every day. And also, she hated people. People who were going to judge, she was cursing them, condemning them. She was a cursor. She knows how to curse bad. Now, there was a, there was a, he, he, our grandfather had, he was a programmer. He had other wives, so I had some grandmother. Now, the family of the other grand, grandmother, they were Seventh-day Adventists, they were going to church. Now, them, they were doing fairly well than our family, our grandmother. So, the, the old people in the grandmother, in our grandmother's side, everybody, nobody succeeded nobody did well everybody they were poverty they were suffering they were poor and they died premature now the family of my grandmother the second the the, the young one they are alive up to today and they are doing fairly well my uncle my uncle my grandmother the step the step my step grandmother the family they are doing very well and their children they are even abroad they are in in, in america and canada they're doing very well but my my really grandmother because she was so evil and she was rejecting god she didn't want us to go to church she she was telling me don't go to those people don't follow them they are they are worshiping she was discouraging me so much and i started following you know a child she follows what the, the grown-up tell her and, and I was raised with her and my sister. And also, when I went to my sister, the same thing. None was going to church. Nothing. We, we, we were not, we didn't know anything about the church. So that this demon of rejection was following our family. And it went on and on. After today, until when I discovered the deliverance, that's when I break that, that spirit of rejection and generational rejection. So now, you can be wondering, you can suffer, because of this, this Matthew 10 verse 33, that it says, if you deny, whoever denies me before men, I would also deny him before my father who is in heaven. So this is true. Whether you like it or not, those people who reject God, the rejection will never depart from the house. It is you, you are trying to do your best. You are trying to be in, the, in, in, in church and doing everything, but you find you are still rejected, even in the church. 
Now, the problem is that you need to pray the prayer that will destroy this rejection. You need to cry to God and God will restore back. Because this is, this, this is, this is, this, this has got nothing to do with witchcraft. This is, is doing with people who have choose, who have decided to have to, who have decided not to love Jesus, who have decided not to follow God. There are some people who are in the church, but still they are, they are not living in the righteous way. They are not living in a holy and an, an, an holy life. They are bitter. They are so bitterness. They, they are bitter. They are, they are unforgiveness. They are gossip. They, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are so so wicked and evil. They, they are still doing immorality. They are thieves and criminals. They are in the church. Now, people like that, they are still feasting witch doctors. They, they go to voodoo. They go to sakek. They go to witchcraft. So, such a people, rejection cannot leave them. Because they don't love God. They are rejecting God. They, they are denying Jesus. Now, they, I, I, I know, look at that scripture. The Bible says in the book of Luke, 12 verse 9, the book of Luke 12 verse 9, the Bible says, But who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. So now, you, 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 those who are denied God, once you deny God, you are de de denied even to the angel of God. The angel of God will not work for you because you, de you deny Jesus and then he deny you also before the angels of God, the living God. So this is rejection spirit. Generational rejection spirit, it is not that because uh, of witchcraft. It is because people choose not to love God. It is because people choose not to follow God. Right now, since 20,000, 2017 years ago, the crucifixion of Jesus, when people are saying, when, when, when the media, when the gospel have gone everywhere, but, but still, people are rejecting Jesus. But still, people have not love, they don't love Jesus. People, they go to church, they are church goers. They are in the church, a bunch of people, thousands, but they are, they are not saved. They don't love Jesus. They don't love God. They are there to show, to show their version, to show that they are going to church. They, are, they don't know anything. Yeah? Now, some of them, they are sick. Some of them, they are, they are being rejected. Some of them, they are still going on with that rejection. You are in the church still. You do everything. But because you are, you are done living in righteousness, that is contributing of rejection. Give your life, totally life to Jesus. Surrender your life to Jesus. Repent every sin and non-sin. Say any sin that connected me to this rejection spirit. I command them to die. I destroy them. Being born again, be saved. Renew yourself. You, if you if you are backslide, come back to God. God will help you in Jesus' name. Let's look in the book of Leviticus 26, verse 14 to 17. The book of Leviticus, Leviticus 26, verse 14 to 17. The Bible says, But if you do not obey me and do not carry out all these commandments, if you in if Instead, you reject my statutes, and your soul adore my ordinance, so as not to carry out all my commandments, and so break my covenant. I, in return, will do this to you. I will appoint over you a certain terror, consumption, and a, fe and a fever that will waste away the eyes and cause the soul of, to pin away. Also, you will sow your seed uselessly for your enemies will eat it up. I will set my face against you so that you will be struck down before your enemies and those who hate you will rule over you and you will flee when no one is pursuing you. This is very serious. You know, this this does not have to do with witchcraft, with anything with witchcraft or anything. It is us. It is you. When the Bible says it is giving us a very serious warning, now because of that we we we, we decided to 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 reject ourselves. The Bible says, "But if you do not obey me, 
the problem, if you did not obey the Lord, the, the God of heaven, the God of heaven, if you, our forefathers did not obey them, they were worshipping other gods. They, they rejected him. They said, who is that God we do not know? You know, even how the, our fellow was, was talking. Our, our ancestors, our forefathers, have, uh, they did not worship God. They, they were rejecting God like what I told you. I saw this in my, with my own eyes, what my grandmother was doing to our family. Now, this is what it happened. You, the enemy will rule of, over you. Those who hate you will be your boss. Those who, those who hate you so much, they will, they will rule over you. And because they rule over you, then they, you are rejected. You are rejected. You can be in a cure. In, in, you are curing to get something. When it is your time, they close the door. They say, sorry, come tomorrow. Or they will pick people and then they leave you. Or sometimes you can be in the meeting. One of my daughter was was giving was sharing with me a testimony. She's a, she's she's having business now. The the owner of the business, the, she was sitting in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a hall where the meeting was held. And then this person came and greeted everybody with the hand. When it reaches a, a time to to shake a hand, she she jumped and went to someone else. And this person does not know my my daughter. She does. She, he has not met her. It, 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 it does, it, it, he doesn't have anything to do with my daughter. But because my daughter, she has a spirit of rejection, that's why it, it, it manifested. And then this man rejected her immediately when she saw her. And she did not talk, she doesn't know her, but because of that thing which is in her. So you can go, you see, even at workplace, they, you don't have favor. Promotion comes, everything happens to other people, but when it is to your time, it is, it is over, it goes somewhere else. Because of this, because of this, now, when you are, your enemy is ruling over you, it will be too bad and too difficult, and it will, it will never work for you. One time, I was working uh, back home. Now, uh, the provincial uh, commission had a problem, a serious problem with me. And then he reported me to, 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 the, to the permanent secretary, office of the president. Now, that was very serious. I was going to be fired. And then I, it happened. I prayed God, I prayed God, I prayed God. I went there to see that permanent secretary, office of the president. And then when I reached there, it happened. Uh, the secretary of the permanent secretary, when she saw me, she thought I am one of the, the, the dom, uh, diplomatic uh, uh, diplomatic person from the High Commission of of Nairobi of, of embassies in Nairobi, so the, she thought I work in the embassy. I I looked like I I was I looked like a lady, one of the ladies or top ladies who works with the embassy embassy uh, High Commission of uh, no in American embassy, American embassy. So now this woman she did ask me any question. She, she, I told her I want to, uh, to see the permanent secretary. And of course, she has to ask you, why do you want to see her? Who uh, do you have appointment? What have you? She did not ask me any question. She opened the door for me. I went inside. When the, when the permanent secretary saw me, she laughed. He laughed. He, he laughed at me. He smiled at me because he, he, he was also, he didn't know that I'm, I'm just a simple person from, from the province. He, he also, his mind was like, I'm a top woman. So she, he welcomed me nicely and talked to me so nice. Now, and then I started explaining to him the problem. And then he called, he called the secretary of the commissioner of, 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 of the province where I was working. Now, this woman, we have trouble crisis. We have, we, we, this tribe, even now, even now, even here in Canada, there are some people who does not like other tribes. Because I'm, I belong to another tribe, and this tribe, still this problem is there. Now, that, that woman, she was from a different tribe and my tribe. So our tribe and our, our tribe, they hate each other. They don't like each other. Then she started talking evil against me speak, while I'm listening. She said bad, bad, bad stuff, lying. Then this, this man, he looked in heaven, he laughed and said, I will tell this woman that I'm also the child of God. That is how I was rescued. Then the, the man, 
the PS called the permanent secretary, very powerful man next to the president. He, he after they finished talking, and then I laughed. I said, "You see," and then this man, the permanent secretary, he he called the, the he called that lady. She was transferred from that province. She was taken to another place, and then the boss, the one who was against me seriously, both of both he, also him, he was transferred from that place. So. And then he transferred the, the, the friends now. All of my enemies who were ruling on me, on me, they were transferred, they were removed. And then the right people, people who love God, people who, who favor me, they came to the province where I was working. That's how I escaped because I worked and did with the spirit of rejection. I said I have to destroy this spirit of rejection. I know this God of love, he has to destroy, to remove this spirit of rejection. Because this one is God who can remove it. It is God because he is the one who has say, who has put this curse on you. There is a rejection of witchcraft. That one I don't talk because there are nothing. The one that we, we are dealing with is the one God has put on you. Because they hate God, they rejected God, so God has rejected us and the children and our children, children. So that rejected rejection is the one that I'm talking. God has put a curse to people who does not obey him. There is 120 curses in the book of Deuteronomy from, from 15 to 66. The curses from God direct. These curses, it is God it is God himself who remove them. It is not a pastor, it's not a prophet, it is not it's not a, it is not evangelist. These curses, it is God all who remove by himself. Now, I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name. I pray that God will take away every generation of rejection in your bloodline, in your family, your children, children, in Jesus' name. I bleed the blood of Jesus, God of heaven, to have mercy, to take away, to wash away, and remove every generation of curses in your life in Jesus' name. Any generation of curses that has been blessed by God himself, let God of heaven have mercy on you and forgive you and restore you back in Jesus' name. Generation from witchcraft, I cast them, I bind them, I render them powerless, they will not manifest in you. In Jesus' name. Today, you will be loved. You will find people who love you. You will have friends. You, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are going to shine. And everybody will say thank you. You will see a change after this prayer in Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says this in the book of uh, Psalms 50 verse 22. Now con this, consider this. You who forget God... Or I will tear you in pieces and there will be none to deliver you. You know, people who forgot God, people who are rejecting God, people who does not care about God, God will tear them into pieces. He will reject them. But God, he is God. He, he deals with you. Don't worry about people who doesn't love God. You are in the church. Change your behavior. Love God. Love God. Repent. Be delivered. You know what, who you are. You know, you know exactly what you do. You are an ang angered person. You are very bitter. You are very angry. You are a gossip. You open doors of gossip. You, you are bitter, always bitter. Always you are very bitter. Yeah? You get angry. You are offended easily, easily. You, you are, you, even people are talking, you pick because you have a spirit of rejection. You think people are talking about you. When you look at people, you just think people are talking about you. When you are walking, you, when people are loving or talking their own stuff, you think they are talking about you. When you go to the store, because you have that demon, you, you start fighting with the people everywhere you go. Yeah? And here, you pretend you are in the church, you go to church, every meeting you don't miss, every prayer you don't miss, a, a time you are there, exactly time you are there, you, you are committed, you are 100% committed, but your behaviors, your character is so wicked and evil. So you are being rejected by God himself because you are not doing the right thing, nothing wrong with, with you. It is you have choose not to follow God, you have decided to, to, to serve the devil instead of serving God in the church. So the God will tear you into pieces and no one will deliver you. You have been prayed, prayers you have been prayed for. But because you have not checked your character, you have not seen if you are saved or not. 
The problem is that Jesus Christ has delivered us, has redeemed us from our, from our sins. Every curse that has been blessed, Jesus has taken over. But you have returned them all back to you and your children, children. So what you are wanting to do, you check and see where, where is this problem coming from? Am I being saved? Am I being saved? Did I, what are my character? Did, did the spirit of anger come out? Did the spirit of bitterness, spirit of fear, spirit of gossip, then all these things, it will not let the, 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 the God do, to, to, to wash you with his blood. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Now, let's look on another scripture from the book of Proverbs 1, verse 24 to 26. It is a wrong one. Uh, the Proverbs 1, 24 to 26. The Bible says, Because I call and you refused, I switch out my hand and no one paid attention. And you neglected all my counsel and did not want my reproof. I would also laugh at your crament. I would mock when you are deadly comes, when your deadly comes. You see, God is calling you. God is calling you. Stop what you are doing. Stop vindication. Stop stealing. Stop gossip. Stop bitterness. Stop anger. Stop this. God is calling you. God is teaching you. The Holy Spirit is talking to you. The Holy Spirit wakes you up in the middle of the night. Pray. Seek the kingdom of God. Pray. You sleep. The Holy Spirit wakes you up very well. Angels of God wake you up. You are, you are always in prayer meeting. You are always praying. But you have never stopped bitterness. You have never stopped anger. You have never stopped uh, living an, an ungodly life. You have never stopped feasting witchcraft, feasting evil pastors, feasting uh, false prophets. You go and to, to the witch doctor, you have not stopped going there. You still go there. Your mind is, is just... You don't you 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 are so confused that you don't understand anything. Now God is calling you. You have to cry to pray very powerful prayer to destroy that generation of curses by yourself. You have to uh, to prove to God. You have to tell God, "Here I am, Father. I am sorry. I am sorry what I've done. I am in the church, or I don't know you." I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to give my life to God once again so that you can deliver me from this disgenerational rejection spirit. And then God can, can help you in Jesus' name. Now, the book of, uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah 6, verse 19. The Bible says, O hear, O earth, hear, O earth, behold, I am burning, I'm bringing disaster on these people. The fruit of their plants, because they have not listened to me, to my words, and as for my law, they have rejected it also. Now, here is the word of God. Jeremiah is crying, is speaking the word of God. He's saying, hear, O heart. Now he's speaking to the heart. He's speaking to the people of the heart. People who are living here on the heart. People who, are, who, have, who, are, who have refused to obey God, people who have rejected God, is, is saying, Behold, I am bringing disaster on these people. The fruit of their plants, the fruit for their plants, the fruit for the, their plants, their plants evil, the fruit they have planted. The, the Bible says, Because they have not listened to my words and also for my law, they have rejected it also. Now, God is calling, is going to bring rejection, is going to bring disaster against people who have, who have not listened to God, who have rejected the, the law of God. So that, that's why you find many people, they are suffering, they are rejected, disaster is following upon them. Now you find, you will ask, why is it that these things has happened to us again? These things has happened to us again. Disaster has come again to us. Because the, the, the community, the society, your family is rejected. It's rejected. Simple because they have refused to obey the, the word of God. They have refused to, to love God. They have received, refused to obey the law of God. They are wicked people. Look at the people who arrested Jesus. They mocked him. They beat him. They, they spit on him. They cast him. And this and Jesus, they, he was preaching. They saw the miracle of Jesus. He was the son of God. He saw what Jesus was doing. But they decided to mock him, to reject him, to spit on him. And, and they didn't want to hear anything of Jesus. Now, 
because of that the disaster fall upon their children children that's why you see many many families many homes many many community get a lot of disaster a lot of problem because of the whole community they have decided to reject the god but if they stand firm and pray the god of heaven will hear from heaven and restore back and restore back in the name of jesus and restore back their health restore back their love restore back their land restore back their community and restore back your husband restore back what you have lost in the mighty name of jesus now i'm going to show you a lot of scriptures so that you can it can help you when you are you are on the time that you are fighting this rejection now all this scripture you have to pray god to help you to deliver you because our god is massive god he he, he rejected the children of israel he, he nearly killed all of them but because of his love endure forever his loving kindness he holds he, he came back and helped them now the same thing jesus christ he will receive you with his two hands he is here to receive you and restore back and you will he will destroy every curses curses and god will take away the curses and, and generational curses rejection spirit and any witch any evil that will put a, a reject 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 the spirit on you put a mark of re, a hatred in you the god the angels of god will kill them that is the difference now we are going to deal the mass of God to help us to deliver us from the spirit of generational curses. And then the, 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 the witchcraft uh, uh, mark of rejection, that is nothing as I've said. It will be destroyed and then that powers. You don't have to worry about that because that is witchcraft and witchcraft have no power over the blood of Jesus. They have no power in, in, in God. So we, we are going to ask the mass of God, the God of heaven, to deliver us and restore back our, our love in the mighty name of and remove the spirit of rejection so that we can get our breakthrough and we can get our destiny helper. Destiny helper will come. Helper will come because the enemy has no power over you. And, and God has removed that rejection. So, uh, uh, and, and any power that will stand against your destiny uh, will be destroyed by God himself. Because God will protect you and he will bless you. Once he has blessed you, no one will put a curse on you. Because God himself, he will curse and destroy wherever will stand to put a rejection curse on you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, my father. I want to thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory, God. Loving Father, I thank you. I give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my God, you are so good in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, I'm going to read this scripture from the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 4 verse 6. The Bible says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you from being my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God, I will, all, I will forget your children. You know, this one, most people, they know, they memorize only part A, and then they forget, they forget part B. The Bible has said, lack of knowledge, my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. My people are being destroyed because of knowledge, because of lack of knowledge. Now, so many people, they know that the moment that everybody preach, pre there is no day a preacher cannot preach that message. It has been preached thousands and thousands and millions of millions of times. But still, people, they don't get it. People, they don't follow it. People, many people, they don't get it. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God help us. Many people, they don't get this scripture. It is clearly says, hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. It is clearly says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge. I worry. I also will reject you. From being my priest, since you have forgotten the law of 
your God also will forget your children. So now, this thing, knowledge is power. We have to run knowledge. We have to seek God. We have to do prayer and fasting. We have to call upon God of heaven. We have to call upon God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We have to declare, you repent and ask God, why am I being rejected? I need to know who is responsible for my rejection. Why is this thing this, like this? I pray that God will deliver me from every curses of generational generational rejection. This is spiritual rejection. You have to talk to God. You have to pray that God will show you what you have done, what has happened, that these things is happening to you. You have to seek knowledge. You go to you go to the scripture, go to internet and search the spirit of rejection. Where does it come from? You, you seek, you, you search knowledge. You call prayer point. You call people to stand with you. Tell people that I am rejected and nothing is working to me. People reject me. I also feel like I'm rejecting myself. This is the war. It is war. Rejection is a war. People, many people have been rejected with their husband, with their wife, with their children, with their own uh, brothers and sisters. They are being rejected. You, even if you have a good job, even if you are working in a high class, you might be rejected in that organization until you feel like you, you want to throw, you want to give up. You are sad, you are sad, you get depressed, and you end up getting high blood pressure, you, you get sick, you take a lot of drugs. When I was watching this, uh, the, 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 the things which is going on in, on Russia thing on, on, on CNN, and CNN, I would look at people, how people are sick. People are taking very high drugs of depression. People are taking a lot of drugs. They are sick so that they are to, to function properly. Yeah? They are so much. Some of them, they are really rejected. But, you, but, but they are there and they feel they are, they are rejected. They can speak something and everybody can be against them. You see, they are, they are really a spirit of rejection that it will come until you, you feel you have nowhere. You, you are nothing. It will manifest at their old age. Some of them, they will wait and dis disgrace you big. They will disgrace you. It will disgrace you big. But before it disgrace you, break them. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to deliver you. Ask God to break and take away rejection, spirit, generation rejection. And now stand and, and fight for your salvation. Because of this now God will help you in Jesus' name. The Bible said, I will reject, I will reject, I will forget your children. I won't listen to your children. Unless your children also call upon me, repent and ask me to forgive them, then I will forgive them. It is a spirit which passed to generation to generation. Therefore, people of God, don't let you to be destroyed by this spirit of rejection. You destroy them by fire, by thunder, in Jesus' name. The same God of Elijah, the same God of Abraham, the same God of David, he is the same God that will come to you and remove this rejection spirit reject to, to, to your life, in Jesus' name. Look at this scripture once again. The, the scripture is from the book of Chronicles, First Chronicles 20, 28 verse 9. First Chronicles 28, verse 9, the Bible says, As for you, my son Solomon, know the, know the God of your father, serve him with a, with a whole heart and a willing mind, for the Lord searches all hearts and understands every intent of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will let you find him. Him, but if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. You see, the, 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 this is simple. God can reject you forever, and your children and children. He gave instruction to Solomon. He told Solomon, 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 my son, Solomon of all the people, I've called you to serve you, to take over your father's inheritance. Now, he said that, know the God of your father. Know the God of your father. Who is your, the God of your father? You know here, there are, there are gods. There are different gods. There is God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There is God of Elijah. 
is the same God of David. Is the same God of heaven. God of heaven is the same God of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God of David. But they, they are another God of the devil, Satan, Lucifer. They are two different gods. People worship other gods than the God of heaven. Now, God was talking to Solomon, telling Solomon, Solomon, hear the, he, know the, 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 the God of your father. Know the God of your father and serve him with, with a whole heart and a willing mind for the Lord searches all hearts and understands every intent of the thoughts. God understands every intent of the thoughts. Your thoughts is different from you. Your thoughts, your thoughts is different from you. Some of you, may God deliver you, deliver your thoughts. You are in the church. You are looking the way the women are wearing. You are looking at what the men are, they are wearing. You are, you, are not, you are not in the church. Your thoughts is wandering. Your thoughts can be here in Canada. You, you will be here in Canada, but your thought is in, in your country where you came from. Or your thoughts in somewhere. Or your thoughts is in the bar. Or your thoughts is in a, in a wicked way. Or your thoughts is looking for evil things, how you steal, how you do evil. Now God is, he understands all thoughts. Remember, God understands all the thoughts. That's why witchcraft knows how to uh, 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 attack your mind to make sure that you will not function properly. Because, because he knows that your thoughts, if he capture your thoughts, he has finished you. If you are cap your, your thoughts has been captured, you have nothing. You will be in the church, your body is in the church, but your thoughts is far, is vulnerable, is prostituting, is killing, is destroying. So let us pray for the thoughts. My God, help me. Help me, God. Yes, I need to teach about the, th the thoughts, the thoughts of the mind. Now, the God himself, he understood, understood the thoughts of man. He understands our thoughts. He knows right now what are my intentions, what is my thoughts, what am I thinking about, what am I planning. He knows. He understands every thought of human being because he's God. He is God. Now, now, uh, uh, and the Bible says, if you seek him, he will, he will find you, you will find him. But if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. That is how it is. God will reject you unless you know how to seek him, unless you know how to pray very powerful prayer to restore back your, your, your soul, to restore back what you are, your, the damage that it has been put into your life. That's what you need to pray to, restore, to, to stop this rejection, to ask the, 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 the anger of God, to, to, to ask God to remove the anger of God, to ask God to remove rejection from your life. When Solomon did not obey the rules, did not obey God, what happened? God rejected him. At the end, he was rejected bad. God rejected him and he was left alone. He divided his kingdom. The way God loved him because he, he, he married so many women, including witches. And now, because of that, God had rejected, rejected him. God rejected Saul. He appointed Saul and Saul did not obey him, God rejected him, and he died the mysterious death. So God, God himself can reject the people who does not obey him, who does not follow the rules. Then you can fight yourself, you can accuse the devil, you can accuse witchcraft, and you, and there's no witchcraft here, it's God Almighty who have rejected you because of disobedience, because you have not obeyed the, the God, because of your thoughts, your evil thoughts, your imagination, your satanic imagination that has made you to miss, to, to, to let not use, do not let God, do not, do not serve God, then you, you are rejected. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus, every rejection that has come from witchcraft shall be destroyed. I pray that the God of heaven will have mass of you and destroy and remove rejection spirit and rejection regeneration in your blood, in your family, in your life, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, my Father. I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name. Yes. Uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 33, verse 20, the Bible says, the book of Deuteronomy 32, 32, verse 20, the Bible says, Then he said, 
I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall shall be, for they are prefers gener they are pre 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 prefers generations sons whom is who whom is no faithful whom is no faithfulness. They are they are a generation who have no faithfulness. That's what the Bible the Bible says. But God, but God is God. And God is full of mercy. God is full of compassion. God is love. And God is, is all might. He's God of hosts. He will help us. Even if our sins is like blood, God will wash us. God will f forgive us. Let us repent of our sins. If we are not serving God in the right way, if you are a backslider, if you are not saved, give your life to, che to Jesus. Ask God to forgive me. Say, dear Lord Jesus Christ, I come before you. Please, God, forgive me. I'm so sorry for my sins. Forgive me all my sins, all the sins of my forefathers, all the sins that we have, my, my forefathers died, did. Lord, forgive us. Today, my God, I come before you to clear me, God, to forgive me, Lord, that I have not served you the righteous way. Father, help me in Jesus' name. Simple prayer like that. God in heaven will open windows, will open doors for you, and he will open his, he will, he will listen to you, and he will take away every rejection and the evil that he, he has planned for you, and God has, he will take everything from you in Jesus' name. And if there is satanic, which is satanic mark on you, satanic rejection mark, if there is a witchcraft mark in you, they will destroy, they, God will destroy them. Right now, as you, you repent, as you pray that prayer, God of heaven is started working in you. You, will, you. you are going to be restored back. Everything you have lost, God is going to restore double in Jesus' name. All the friends you have lost, God is going to bring them back. Your marriage is going to be restored. There will be no rejection. God has healed you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord, for the people that, that the people are listening to this message. Father God, I thank you for restoration. I thank you, Lord, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I bless your name and I honor you. I pray that, God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus, my God and my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, my Father, I come against every evil foundation upon which my life and the life of my people that has been built. I command them to receive deliverance by fire in Jesus' name. Every foundation, every evil foundation that your people have built against you and your family, let it be rendered powerless and destroyed in Jesus' name. My God and my Father, I pray every rejection that is all, all, all older than you. There are some rejection that is older than you. That was started long, 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 long time ago. But God in heaven has, has to destroy them in Jesus' name. My God and my Father, I pray every rejection that is older than you, but it is affecting you right now. I, release, I command them to release you and, and die in Jesus' name. I pray ever in inherited rejection, inherited rejection, generational rejection, foundational rejection following you about. I shake you off in the name of Jesus. Let it, let it release you and, and die in Jesus' name. I command them ever generational rejection, foundational rejection following you. Today, today, it is an end. I cast them and I bind them. I destroy them. I let them powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Yoke of corrective rejection affecting your life and the life of your children. I command them to be broken in Jesus' name. Rejection in your, 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 your family. I cut you off by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am sending the fire of God to burn to ashes. All generation, all rejection affecting you and your family. Let this rejection die. Let the rejection come out in Jesus' name. Rejection spirit, hear you are here. This, hear this. Destroy yourself. I command you to eat your flesh and drink your own blood in Jesus' name. You spirit of rejection, I curse you. I command you to die, to get out of the people that you are affecting, to get out of the, this woman, to get out from this man, to get out from their children, to get out in Jesus' name. Which kind of rejection? I curse you. I bind you. I render you powerless. God has forgiven you. God has set this person free by the power and the blood of Jesus. 
and 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 past the sin that the enemy is using, which God is using to reject you. I destroy what you did, which makes you be rejected. I destroy them. I am asking the blood of Jesus to destroy. That is that demon that destroyed every evil that has said, that has done to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, I want to thank you, Lord. I bless your name, God. I give all the glory, Jesus. I give you all the honor, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, destroy and burn out every spirit of rejection that is affecting this man, that is affecting this woman, in the mighty name of Jesus. You spirit of rejection, hear the word of God. God of heaven has rejected you. God of heaven has removed you. God of heaven has commanded you to get out of this person. God of heaven has come against you because God does not hold anything about this person. You are the one who is accusing the person. The person has been cleared by the power in heaven. Heaven has cleared this person. Therefore, leave, leave this person. Leave this person. Leave this person and die. Leave this person and die. Leave the person and die. You spirit of rejection. I destroy you. Rejection spirit. Get out of this person. Get out and go. The person must be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are crying, those who are feel bad, those who are being rejected, today is your deliverance. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. Let the spirit of rejection die. Let the spirit of rejection go back to kill their owners. Let the spirit of, of rejection go back where it came from. In the mighty name of Jesus, you powers of, of rejection, rejection, hear me and hear me well. The God of heaven has said, you are a liar. Get out from the person. Get out and out in Jesus' name. You have no permission. You have no illegal right to this person you are tormenting. You tormenting spirit. You make this person to feel that nobody loves them. Nobody wants them. They are, you are closing door everywhere they go. Even as useless as a poor person. A person who is so useless. Who is nothing. They reject you. They undermine you. They respect you in the mighty name of Jesus I curse you spirit of rejection I curse you spirit of rejection you are a liar I destroy you I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus you find the spirit of rejection speaking to a useless person a person who is nothing really nothing a poor person useless if doesn't have even a cloth in the body, but it looks at you and undermine you, disrespect you, disorganize you, saying like you are, they don't see you like you are anything to them. Huh? You have come back, you are a big car somewhere there, you are just walking to the restaurant or you are going to buy something, and then you start, you just see a, a, a stupid or a person who is, who is nothing, nothing. It doesn't, it, it, it's why this body, is, it doesn't have even lotion to, to put in the face or, or, or in, the, in the body, but she rejected you, she, she, she felt like you are nothing, yeah? She undermined you so much. One time, I was with a lady, and this lady, she had carrying, she had carried a rejected, rejected spirit. So we went to the store here in Brampton. When we reached there, not Brampton, I think it's outside Brampton, uh, somewhere. I don't know if it was Mississauga. Now we we, we were looking some st some stuff. I wanted to buy something. And then this lady, we were with her, so we were talking. When we entered the third store. Now, the owner of the store, when he looked at us, she didn't look at to us. She rejected us. She didn't want to talk to us at all. She felt like we need to get out of our, our, our store immediately. So, when I look at that, I resisted. I resisted. I said, you, the spirit of rejection, you will not function in me. You will not prosper in my life. I stand and I reject you. I refuse your spirit of rejection because God has not rejected me. I will not accept the witchcraft rejection, demon rejection. I'm not going to accept it. But the lady I was with, she had that demon of, of, of rejection. So that demon wanted to, to affect me, to be transferred to me. But I stopped it. Now, I called the person. I, I told the person. You may think that we were not serious to buy something, but I'm telling you, I am a woman of God, and I'm here. I didn't come here all the way from my state, my place to to, to 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 not to buy what I wanted to buy. But because you 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 see us like we don't have money, or you see us 
Like we are a, a problem to you. I'm so sorry. I really wanted this thing and I, 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 I came for the thing. And then this person started talking to me. He said, oh, you're a woman of God. You are a woman. I said, yes, yes, I'm a woman of God. But the way you, you have done to us, I don't think whether it's fair. And then he said, you know, uh, some people, they, they don't, they, they just come to slook and they, they are not serious. They don't buy. So I don't waste my energy, my time to talk to such a people. I said, you never know. You never know who is who. So this person, I refuse. And then, and then, and then, and then I, we didn't buy anything from there. So we went to another place. The same thing happened. And then I, I, I said, I said in my spirit, I will come by myself. All I will talk to this woman to find out what's wrong with her. Then I started asking her, do you know something called rejection spirit? When we went to the restaurant to eat, then she started telling me a story. Then I told her, you know, I've seen you, you have that spirit and I can help you. I will help you, I will pray for you so that that spirit can, can, not, can, can get away and you can be delivered. Because it's a very serious spirit. You can't, you can't, you can't survive, you can't live this way. You, you are a good person, you go to church, you're doing everything, but you have a serious demon that is affecting you. It is a, a, it is a mark of hatred that is going, following you everywhere. Any deal, when, when we get a good deal, because of that rejection, you miss it. You miss a good deal. You can go to the store where they have sell a big, big, good, good deal. Because of rejection, it, you miss the thing. That is how bad it is. I pray that God, in the mighty name of Jesus, to kill and remove every satanic rejection, witchcraft mark of rejection in your life. Let it be destroyed. Let it be rendered powerless and be rendered and useless in Jesus' name. Because God has forgiven you, so witchcraft mark of, 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 of rejection has no power over your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you and I bless you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much, my, my, my people. And I, I pray that God will keep you and, and help you and protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Talk to you another time. And God will help you in Jesus' name. I have to stop here. To, to, tonight, we have popcorn prayer. We have popcorn prayer, prayer line. And the, and the deliverance prayer, we are going to have testimony, and upon testimony, we will be having a, uh, yeah, we, I have so much testimony, and God is going to help us. You join us on Popcorn tonight, 9 p.m. 9 p.m., prayer line and Popcorn will be on. Invite your followers, give them the number to come and join us. The number for prayer line is, uh, is 712832. 8330. The prayer line for pop, for for tonight is 712-8330. It will be on and God will help you in Jesus' name. The access code number is 9625184. God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for joining. God bless you in Jesus' name. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. God loves you. Now you are free from rejection, spirit. God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.